Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the top 5 myths about Windows 10 and we're going to explain if they are true or false. First myth that we're going to actually talk about is does Windows 10 spy on you, steal your data, steal your emails, steal your documents, look at them? Well, it's in the question stealing the answer is no but you got to understand people got crazy because one little part of the license agreement says that Windows and Microsoft need to have access to your email and to your documents and to your calendar and to your personal settings well you know what that's totally normal if you want to use Cortana they have to ask you per permission for that. And that permission is not because they want your data. They don't care about your data. What they do with it is simply you have to be able to read your email, your calendar. They have to be able to see your content in order for Cortana to work. And that's very important. And that is not even sent with anything personal. They don't even know who it is. It's not linked to your computer. But they do need access to that information if you want to have Cortana working right. It's totally normal. And what I find mostly funny here is that people go crazy because they think Windows 10 is the worst of all the operating systems out there for privacy. But nobody talks about the privacy content of the license agreement with iPhones or Mac computers or Android. If you look at it, you'll see that they also ask you for permission to have all access to all of that. You know why? Because they also have voice assistants that need to work. So it's no different in Windows 10 than any other operating system. If you're using a iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, an Android tablet, you are being spied on exactly the same as Windows 10, but only for the purpose of having the functionalities work well, not for stealing your data. And personally, I've not shut off anything there. I think Microsoft is using it in a correct way. If you think they are stealing your data, I'm sorry, you're paranoid. And uh, you know what? You should really go crazy about many other things, including when you search on Google. Myth number two is about Windows 10 sharing your password, your Wi-Fi and passwords to everyone in your contacts, everyone on Facebook, everyone you know. No, it does not. First of all, when you set up your Wi-Fi connection, it asks for permission to do that. And you can say no. Second of all, the option is there's a general switch on off about Wi-Fi sense so that it doesn't ask you and doesn't do it. You can turn that off. And third, even if you give access with Wi-Fi sense and share your Wi-Fi with friends, they never know your password. They'll never know what it is because that option is automated. They share that option with you, but they, you know, don't know what the password is about. They'll never know. It's really an automated process. So no, it does not share with everyone and stop going crazy about that because it's really not the case. Myth number three, Windows 10, you'll have to pay after one year. It's still very strong, that myth. Especially, uh, I, you know what? I, I went, I'm a tech guy and I went to a client's uh, home uh, Monday and that client had the upgrade available upgrade to Windows 10 and I told her well you know you can go to Windows 10 for free and she said well you know what I don't want to pay and I said no it's free oh yeah but after one year you're gonna pay no it's not that at all it's free it stays free you got it free it stays free and she didn't understand it was that she had she understood it was going to be a paid operating system after a year. It's not. 
if you've got Windows 10 for free because you can upgrade your computer it will stay free after a year you will be able to reinstall it free in two years three years four years as long as it's the same machine that you're installing on and that's it it is free it stays free stop saying anything else because it's wrong it is free and it will stay free myth number four you can't disable updates in Windows 10 uh, true and false if you have a pro version uh, or enterprise version you can delay up to three months the updates if you've got an own version it's a little different yes it's true that the updates are pushed on you you can postpone them for a little while but you, you'll have to install them but there's a little trick you can use if you really don't want to have them right away if you're connected over Wi-Fi then you can um, enable the metered connection option if you say you're on a metered connection no updates are going to download because they don't want to use any of your internet so what they do is they're going to tell you that there is some uh, updates available but they're not they're not going to install them they're just going to wait for you to agree to download them so you can you know use that little trick that I've shown in one of my videos and uh, you know put your computer in metered connection to wait for updates but that said you know what people go crazy over automatic updates and automatic updates are actually really important I think automatic updates the way they're doing it is perfectly fine and one of the main reasons I think it's per perfectly fine is because it protects your computer it fixes a lot of bugs and security issues in Windows and you know what there was a uh, conference that I was watching the other day where they were asking regular people and tech guys what's the number one security thing that you think about in a PC and a computer R ordinary people said oh antivirus the tech people said updates everything needs to be updated so it gives you an idea tech guys think updates are much more important than antivirus and actually even worse in the top five in the category of the top five security stuff antivirus was not even in the top five for most tech guys so it gives you an idea that tech guys don't think the same way that regular people do and updates are really important and you should do them and you should not postpone them you should install them when they are ready it really really helps to have a safe computer. Myth number five. If you install Windows 10, all your pirated games will be disabled. That is false. Microsoft does not check for pirated games, does not care about pirated games in Windows. Windows will not disable any pirated games. This is totally false. And that comes from uh, someone posting the license agreement of Xbox and they said that was license agreement of Windows 10 which stated that any games that are pirated um, they can disable parts of the games and what they meant by that is when you have a pirated game they know and they can block you from playing online games on Xbox Live for example they disable that and it's fine and I think it's really really okay to do that but apart from that, your game is still going to work. If you want to play in a local game, you know, if you have a game that's online, but you're pirated, well, you'll play it just local in your computer or with your friends, not online. And you know what, last, on that issue, I don't really care. Because if you've got pirated games, you're stealing. And don't try to, you know, think about it in any other way you are stealing and that's it you know people have and make a living out of that and some people can lose their jobs because of piracy because nobody buys the games anymore so it's stealing anyways and personally I wouldn't care less if they would disable them but they don't if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when your videos are online 
Give us thumbs up if you like the videos, if you enjoy uh, our content. Why not share any comments, any information you have, any um, problems you might have, and we'll try to help you if we can. And I really thank you for watching my videos and being part of this great channel.